So if your MacBook shows Wi-Fi is connected, but there is no internet or Wi-Fi just isn't working, especially after updating to the Mac OS 26 Tahoe, let's see some quick fixes you can try right away to get your connection back, whether you're using a MacBook Air, Pro, Mac Mini, or iMac. Let's start with the basic one, and that is from settings, just toggle off the Wi-Fi button and then turn it on again. If that didn't work, next what you can do is just click on the three dot and simply forget the network. Just make sure you got the password. And then just go ahead and reconnect with your current Wi-Fi network once again. And just in case, if you have changed the Wi-Fi password recently, make sure you put down the correct one. Now, if that didn't help, sometimes this can happen for some minor software glitch. So just go ahead and give your MacBook a restart. And if possible for you, you can also restart your router as well. Just plug it out for a bit and then just plug it in again. Now this can solve the issue in a lot of cases. If that didn't help in your case, just go ahead and open the Wi-Fi settings once again. Go to details, visit the proxy section first. In case if any proxy option is enabled, just disable it. And then just press OK to save it. Alright guys, so next, let's go to the DNS section. Now here, what you can do is just use the Google DNS instead of the automatic one. Select the default DNS, click on this minus sign to delete it, then put down 8.8.8.8, press OK, go back to the same section, click on this plus sign, and then put down 8.8.4.4, and then press OK. And apart from that, you can also go to settings, just to check, to network, from there to firewall. Now, in case it's turned on, go to the options, make sure block all incoming connection is disabled. Now, you can also check out this list below, and in case if any browser or app is showing block incoming connection, just click on it, and then select allow incoming connection from here, and then just press OK to save it. But in most cases, the Wi-Fi is just working after all this process. In your case, if that didn't help, especially if you have gone out of your usual location with your Mac, sometimes wrong date and time can cause this issue. So just to check, just open up settings, go to general, from there to date and time. And here, just make sure set date and time automatically is enabled. Also make sure to enable set time zone automatically using your current location. Now, lastly, if connected but no internet type of problem keeps happening every now and then on your Mac, press and hold on the option button and then just click on the Wi-Fi icon at your menu bar. You'll get this drop down menu. Just click on the open wireless diagnostics option and then just press continue and just follow the prompts and wait patiently for the diagnostic report. It lets you know if there is anything wrong with your Wi-Fi network or the device's connectivity. Hope this video helped you solve the Wi-Fi connection issues on your MacBook. Thanks for watching.